In this video, we're going to show you how to correctly connect the weather gland that comes with your IP camera. The weather gland is in four pieces and it will connect a, the end of your CAT5 cable or CAT6 cable to the RJ45 connector on the IP camera. I'll show you how to correctly put it on. You need to have an unterminated cable which looks like that. You can't use this because it won't thread through the connector. To start, what you do is use this portion of the gland thread that through on the cable and then thread this washer here it has a flat top to it you want to put that one facing that way and then put this piece on once this is through the, that portion of the gland there's a little washer here. It has a riveted edge. You want to make sure it's the higher edge is facing that way towards the camera's pigtail. So now you need to crimp your RJ45 connector and then connect them all together. I'm going to pause the video and crimp my cable quickly. So now that I have my cable crimped, I'm going to make the connection. Connect the cable into the RJ45 connector connect this weather grommet. It twists on to this locking mechanism on the pigtail. Make sure it's tight. It's, no water is going to seep through. And then there's this flat washer that goes into the bottom portion. This is really important to have to make sure that no water seeps in through the bottom of the connector. Let's say you have the pigtail hanging upside down or something. And then see this on top, screw it in. And this basically compresses the connector against the cable so you don't have any water leaking in. So here it's really snug. No water is going to leak in there. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need. And it's really important you put these on to make sure that your uh, pigtail doesn't get ruined on the camera. And it's also making the camera non-operational. Uh, any humid environment or in the elements when you have exposure of a pigtail, you've got to make sure you put the weather gland on. Thanks for watching.